Awesome. All right. So all we're going to do, I'm just going to rewind so that in case someone watches this later, they can figure out what they're doing. So we're gluing our five pieces down. And then we are, and I just put a tiny bit of space in between them, but you can also kind of smush them all together and it's fine. Be nice if I was a little straighter, but you know. Mm. So when this paper came out for the fall at first, I was like, I don't know if this is fall paper. <laughs> and uh, we kind of chuckled and I said, well, okay, you know, maybe, you know. And then, and the more I play with it, I'm like, of course, Calypso coral is a fall color. Why would anyone think otherwise? you know um, all right so we're going to stamp our sentiment we're just using our marker and we breathed on it and then yeah so peeling the white backer off of this it's kind of a pain but it's gonna have to find the corner that works and then with that comes all the little like a lot of those holes and things kind of pop off with it. And then you might have to spend a second, you know, getting a few of these other big chunks out. I actually yeah. use a part of my mother's dissecting kit to do it. Nice. It's a pokey thing. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I ended up, I mean, like, that's it for me. Like I was able to get it all to pop out. Now, mind you, I have these little pieces all over my house right now, but eh. um, from playing around, but all right. So then we've got that. And then, yeah, this sparkly pumpkin doesn't have any adhesive on the back. So I just kind of, you know, put a little of adhesive on there and found a, a good location for that guy. And then I just put a long strip of adhesive here so that I could lay down the ribbon and kind of have it hang out, you know, beyond the beyond the edge. And then I did go ahead and take a couple of dimensionals and pop up the back with some dimensionals. I feel like the, the ribbons like old, like old macrame or something. Maybe the whole thing has a very like 70s vibe to it. I don't know. And then you just add that glitter pumpkin and we're all good. And then you're just gonna stick that guy down and there you go. So cute, cute card, sparkly card, um, but hopefully not, not too painful to put together. So um, there we go. We got our pumpkins. And so you don't use any dimensionals on this card. I did. Mm -hmm. I did dimensionals on the back of the white piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Patricia. Juan. How are you? I'm, I'm good. Thank you. Hey, you're in your crafty space. Yeah. Nice. I don't know that I've ever seen your crafty space before. I think I sat on this side. I may have sat on the side where the windows are. Oh, yeah. It looks nice. Uh, I need to organize, but um, it <laughs> that's another yeah. story. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I feel like you know, I work on a project, it gets messy. You know, I put everything away. I work on another project, it gets messy again. I put right. you know <laughs> constantly. So, um, okay. What do we think? Yes, pretty pumpkins. Yeah. Pretty pumpkins. So this paper, this glitter paper was free for celebration right now. 
and um, I have gotten a couple packs of it, and now it's gone. It's unorderable. <laughs> so you're, you're holding a rare creature here with your glitter paper. So um, just you know, enjoy because um, it was definitely popular. Um, and I, I I used a lot of it on our pumpkins before I knew it went. Uh, unorderable so oh well um thank well, you pretty pumpkins I know I have this like, <laughs> one glittery orange pumpkin as part of our like fall decor I don't have a ton of glitter I don't like glitter you guys know that and uh but that one is like my you know showstopper piece so this is the the showstopper on our on our card um okay so the next card has it's a fun fold um I'm going to show you the card that I got inspired by, um, which was this one. Um, it's cute. Yeah. And it's got a little fold. Um, so we're going to do something a little similar, but you guys don't have this tree. So instead, what I did is I die cut the tree out for us. So we've got leaves and we've got a tree and then we're just going to do it this way. It's beautiful. I think it turned out really nice. So Maria at the senior center actually bought this die set with the trees and the leaves. I didn't have it. Um, and I saw when she had it, I was like, Ooh, I know what we're going to do. I was like, that'll be fun. I was like, I'm borrowing the die set. Okay. You know, and I like sent her a picture of everything I like borrowed from the box, the stuff she ordered. And I was like, I have an idea for this one. So, um, and because we're die cutting this kind of pattern paper, it's actually this paper. So see this paper here on the side. Yeah. Like we just, I just die cut it to look like mm -hmm. a bunch of fall leaves. Yeah. And so I thought that was fun. So I lost my tree. You lost your tree? Yeah, I had it. <laughs> I had it. Well, it might be on the floor. Remember, that's where mine always end up. <laughs> that's where the little pieces end up, not the trees. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that it's gone missing. Wow. Well. It'll emerge. This is what I have found um, is that generally they don't, they don't walk, they don't grow legs and walk away. Right. So I found it uh -huh. <laughs> under all the debris from the clippings. This, this poor stamp set, I mean, is just like, I think it needs a bath. So if you find that your stamps aren't sticking as well, or maybe they're not clean, you know, they're not clinging as well, you can actually just wash them all with some Dawn soap, like in a little hot Dawn soap bath, and it will get the sticky back. So, um, cause mine definitely are not in good shape. Mine need a, mine need a bath. So uh, the paper towel will only work so much and so hard so um okay so let's work on construction um so you've got one piece um let's see um, so you've got one piece that's flat and then you've got another piece that has a, a flap on it so on the shorter flap on the back right this is how we're going to attach it so it's going to go like this so we're going to put some glue on the back of here. Glue on the back of the short part. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that we can center it in the middle and glue it down. And then remember, just kind of rub, you know, where you do the adhesive because um, the adhesive needs a little bit of heat and friction to adhere. Um, so now we've got our flap. And then we're going to take our piece of square piece of designer series paper and we're going to put it here over so we still got our flap here right but this is on the, the back side so we're just gonna open this up 
Now, everybody probably got a different piece because I ran out of pieces. If you, you know, flip it over and you decide that you really like, you know, the back piece, you can do that. Um, for this one, I don't know, I might like kind of lay it out and see what I think. Like, maybe I do, maybe I like having trees and trees and trees, you know? Um, so, but you can decide, you know, whichever side of the paper kind of works for you. I'll make two very different cards. Oh, what is that? I don't know. I hear lots of crazy noise in the background. Uh, maybe I will. Let's see. I'm gonna mute everybody just so that, feel free to unmute yourself if you need to, but um, okay. So we're gonna glue this piece down, whichever way you decided to do it. And then if you want to stamp on it, you can, or you can put it here. If you wanted to, you could put, you know, in our stamp set, we have really cute, right? We've got the little squirrel and we've got the acorn. We've got a little pumpkin. We have like a fall leaf. So if you decided that you wanted to stamp something like that, you could definitely stamp something like that, you know, on the inside and you could make that decision now or you could make that decision later. I'm just gonna leave mine blank. Uh, I'm just gonna try to center that. I feel like I cut this one a little short, but it'll be fine. All right. So there's that. And then we're going to work on the outside piece. So the outside, we're going to want to stamp our sentiment. Um, so I'm going to get my block. And for this one, I use the cinnamon cider marker, the brown marker. Um, so it's kind of like a light brown. And we're gonna wanna stamp it pretty low because we gotta fit our tree on. And remember, you know, you can practice, you can always, if you don't like it, you can turn your piece of paper over. That's why we stamp first, just so that we don't glue everything down and then, you know, are super sad about how it turns out. So I'm just gonna stamp down low. There we go. Happy fall, y'all. And it's spelled correctly, which you know makes me very happy. So, um, all right. So now we've got our tree, which has a little hole. Let me to pack that out. So we're going to glue our tree down and then we're going to glue our leaves, leaves down. Um, so I found it easiest to glue, put some glue on the tree first. So I just kind of like randomly put a little bit of adhesive on the tree and then, or on the leaves and I stuck it to the tree. And then I kind of turned the whole thing over and put a little bit of adhesive there. The tree is pretty delicate. It's not going anywhere. Um, but then kind of once you've got everything nice and sticky, then you can put it on your card front. And if you have any glue that kind of comes up between the branches, you know, it's kind of just, I find you can just rub it away and it, it goes away, so. Um, and everybody's look a little different because of the paper and, you know, where, you know, where it was cut from, which is kind of cool. So, and then we're going to glue this to the front. So in this one, there is no dimensionals at all. Like we're just gluing.
And then I'm gonna get some twine out. I think that I gave you guys all my good twine. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to like make do with some ends of twine and see. So the way I had yours cut was you would wrap twice. Um, so you would wrap and then wrap again and tie a bow. Mine's gonna be much shorter than that. And so I'm not sure what mine's gonna look like, but we're gonna give it a try and see. Um, yeah, I don't even know that that's gonna work. All right, I'm gonna save those for I, I love the tree and the tree leaves. I just really like that a lot. Yeah, when I found out that you could just like cut the leaves like there's a whole stamp set that goes with this and it's, you know, pretty complicated. You know, I was like, oh, I don't want to have to stamp multiple times. And because you can see it here, right? She like stamped the green and then she stamped like a dark green and then she stamped some red. And to me, that seemed like a lot of work. And I was like, oh, that's too much work. Um, but when I figured out that you could just cut all the leaves at one time, I was like, yes, yes, that sounds great. Let's do that. So do, so do we put the twine on before we... Oh, the point. Oh, the, it gets glued first. Mm -hmm. I glued it down first and then I wrapped it. And the way that I, I'll kind of show you guys. So what I normally do is I have like a tail, right? That I'm going to use to make the bow and I hold the tail out. So the tail is like, you know, lingering here. And then I'm like, okay, that's where I want it to go. So then I wrap it once, I wrap it twice, and then I bring that tail back, right? And then that kind of gets me all in the same place. You guys, yours is already cut. I've got to cut mine because I'm still on the. Um, I don't know. Once, the, mm -hmm. tape runner, the tape runner is still full, but it's not. It's not making tape. So sometimes you just have to like push it a little bit. Do you have the newer style one, Marion? I have this. Oh, okay. Now that one should just go. It um, was going and then it stopped. Maybe just like try to put your finger in there and um, pull it. Although that one usually works pretty good. Okay, mate. I don't know how to make it work. <laughs> well, I mean, you can always bring it back by and have, you know, Maria trade it out for you and then I can take a look at it, you know? Oh, oh wait, there's, there's something broken here. Mm. I don't know how to thread it. I mean, it, it looks... Yeah, something's wrong <laughs> that I don't know how to fix. Do you have some other glue at home you can use? I'm thinking I have another tape runner somewhere. Let me see. Yeah. I, I save all my covers so that in case I, I just had that problem. Sometimes some glue get caught up on the, the wheel. And, and I, I have it. had I have had the wheel mechanism break, like this little white piece up here. Um, I've had that break before too. Yeah. So because these are refillable, you can save, you know, you can save this piece and keep refilling it. Um, but I had I did have one the other day where I completely I was pushing too hard and I like completely snapped this whole piece off. <laughs> um, nothing snapped off. It's like all of a sudden the, the tape is loose here. It might be some glue, some glue stuff on it. So, so no, this... no, it's completely disconnected. Turn it around, Marion. Oh. Like flip it so I can see it. No, flip the whole device. Oh, you're at the end. You're done. No, there's plenty more. No, nope. nope. That's the end part. That's your. That's your remainder. That's your. That's your adhesive. Oh, it's done. You ran out. So it get, you can refill those? Yep. Yeah. yeah, they just snap apart. So the two pieces come apart and then you get a refill for this part. So, but uh, Maria's got them. 
Um, you can also get them at Office Depot, Amazon, wherever. Um, well, Maria's got the refills. But Maria's got refills, yep. And then I put some little rhinestones in your kit. Um, if you wanted to, you could stamp a leaf or a pumpkin or a squirrel or an acorn on the front too. I, it is your card and your adventure. Um, I, I, I tried a couple of versions, but I liked it without, without that. But you know, you do, you do you, uh, and whatever makes you happy. We did go through two rolls of twine, though. I'm quite, quite proud of us. So, <laughs> how do we? How do we tie the bow without making a mess? I tie a knot and then I tie a bow. Oh, clever woman. Yeah, because I can't, it's too slippery otherwise. <laughs> Thank you for the time. Yes, okay. yes. I, it, you know, I, I realize it makes my, um, it makes my knot look kind of bulky when I do that, but I don't really care because I can't figure out another way to do it. <laughs> well, good job, y'all. Um, and thanks for being flexible with me. And um, I will just know that the allotted PTA meeting takes quite a bit of time. So, oh, it was the first one of the year. I'm hoping the others are faster, but we'll see, so. Um. Okay, so oh, there's little white pieces in here too. That paper had white on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that tree with the with that cut out leaves. I just love yeah, it. yeah. I'll show you. I I Maria. I borrowed it from Maria because the senior center. She got it. Um. You know, and if we go back in person, you know, next fall or whatever, maybe we can play with it some more. Um, but we could also make spring trees with it. Um, we can make other things. It's a really pretty stamp set. It's called the beauty of friendship. And then this is the dies that it came with and it has, so it has like mm. the tree branch and then it has like a larger tree. It has those pieces that I have to cut for you. It's got some little birdies. It's got like some squares and some rectangles and some smaller trees and a smaller tree branch and then kind of a larger outline piece, I guess that goes with, yeah, with this. So yeah, there's quite a, I mean, there's quite a bit in here, quite a bit to, to play with. So in terms of mailing pieces to you guys and having you use, you know, what you've got, um, I thought this was a good, a good go. So next month we'll do Halloween. Um, and then, the month after that, we'll do Christmas. Um, so November, we'll do Christmas. And then um, and then we'll do some sort of tag gift wrapping type thing in December. Um, we're still kind of talking about that one and trying to figure it out. But um, yeah, so we're progressing. And hopefully, you guys are learning new things, playing with new things. You know, I think this is a nice, this is a cool card just because of the way, like it only uses like a fourth, you know, of the paper in the back and then it just has this little flap here, which is kind of cool, so. I, I just love the tree with those cut out leaves. I just really <laughs> love it. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. I like it a lot. And it, you know, the tree varies depending on what leaves you cut out, you know? So there was like, if you cut out like dark, the darker green piece, you would have a different kind of tree. You know, this is like a very fall looking tree. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool. Yay. All right, I'm gonna stop the recording. So stop.